It was an early start to the day for Jillian's Place staff and supporters who gathered at Market Square on Thursday for the annual Wrapped Encouraged Breakfast, the official start to Women Abuse Awareness Month. We're kicking off the Wrapped in Courage campaign, which is a provincial campaign um, that uh, shows solidarity for survivors of gender-based violence and uh, violence against women in Ontario. What's the educational component of today? Yeah, so it really is a, a community-wide um, event, uh, month, and also provincial-wide. And it's just bringing awareness about the issue of gender-based violence. Sadly, we know that the prevalence and severity of violence and abuse continues to rise, uh, especially since uh, the pan COVID-19 pandemic. The years since the pandemic have been deadlier for women and gender and sexually diverse folks. So it's really important that our community comes out and is aware of uh, services like Jillian's Place and how to effectively respond. Niagara College once again threw their support behind the event. We've been doing this for many years. It even goes obviously back before COVID and uh, not even just the pancake breakfast, but working with Jillian's Place on a lot of different ways of raising money for them, supporting them, and of course feeding people, which is what we do best. Uh, but we're always uh, really excited and uh, looking forward to helping them. Uh, who's helping you today? Well, we have uh, a variety of people here. So we have Sarah Scott, who works in our vice president's office, uh, working on uh, working with our community, as you can see today. We have uh, some of our students uh, that are working out of our Benchmark restaurant, which actually just opened yesterday. So um, we're just excited to be here. We're morning people, so we love this. Those in attendance set their food down on place mats that offered some reminders as to the prevalence of domestic abuse. In fact, rising numbers have led the region to recently pass a motion declaring intimate partner violence is an epidemic. It was really important for us that intimate partner violence was declared an epidemic in Niagara um, to really bring attention and awareness to the issue. Uh, you know, it's something that's typically been, you know, very secret, private matter. Um, and so I don't think that folks in our region really understood um, the breadth or scope of what people were experiencing in their homes and the violence and abuse that they've been experiencing in their homes. And, you know, ultimately, in many cases, femicide. Um, and so, which is the intentional killing of women or girls, you know, because of their gender. Um, and, you know, we've had just recently um, a tragic case of femicide in our region. Um, and so really we want to get people talking about the issue. Uh, it's something that we don't always think about or we might think that it's relative to a class or an income or a situation, but it's not. It's not discriminatory. Anyone can be a victim of intimate partner violence or gender-based violence. So over the decade I've really learned a lot about just what an issue it is in our community as well as what um, is necessary to meet that issue and the fact that we have a big gap to fill. While Jillian's Place continues to fundraise to help offset costs for their day-to-day -day operations, they are also in the midst of a capital campaign that will have them expand to meet their growing needs. Having a capital campaign I think just speaks to the issue of space and the need for space as opposed to just having our programming supported by the community. We also just need more beds, more um, areas for community programming and that's just something that you know we've, we've hit a capacity, we've tried to work within our uh, footprint for, for quite a number of years now. We've been talking about um, expanding for about five years. An eight million dollar campaign and to date we've raised over 5.1 million uh, towards uh, that campaign goal and that early funding has helped us kind of start um, internally renovating the shelter um, and hoping uh, once we secure the remaining funds um, that we'll be able to break ground on our 9,000 square foot expansion which is the Murata Family Centre for Violence Prevention and Outreach Support. In Niagara, you're watching The Source on your TV.